Hey you guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to show you how to make a do-it-yourself perfume roller using essential oils. I like to use Young Living's essential oils because they are by far the best essential oil company. I love their stuff. I trust it completely, putting it on my skin, um, and I wouldn't trust any other brand. So, let's hop to it. Uh, the reason why I love making perfume with essential oils is it's so easy, it's so customizable. I basically get to customize the scent that I want exactly how I want it. Usually if you want a perfume, you go to the store, you have to pick out what's in front of you, and I don't know, it's just not as fun. So I'm going to show you how to make your own perfume using essential oils. Okay, you are going to want to grab your fractionated coconut oil with a pump. It just makes it easier to make the roller. Grab all of your favorite scents and smells. Do not be afraid to mix them. Get your favorite rollers and let's do this. So you're going to need a couple things. First, you're going to need fractionated coconut oil. Um, I get this fractionated coconut oil on Amazon and um, you probably recognize coconut oil, but fractionated just means it's liquid. And I like to get this brand because it has the pump, which makes it a lot easier to pump into your rollers. So I brought a couple different ones to show you. I love getting different roller bottles. I get them off of Amazon, off of Etsy. I also have a friend who has an amazing shop. I will link her shop as well. Um, I even have these little cute ones here. You can get them honestly for a pretty good price on Amazon. And like I said, if you wanna get really, really cool ones, kind of like this, you can go to Etsy or other shops. There we go. Um, okay, so in order to do this, I basically brought out some of my favorite oils, and I'm just gonna explain um, a little bit about like my thought process when I'm making them. When I first started making um, rollers and perfume, I was afraid to play with different essential oils. And so what I mean by that is I kind of stuck to the different oils in the same groups. So I would take lemon, orange, all of like the citrus ones and put them in one roller. Um, and I was afraid to branch out into putting like a citrus and a tree oil or a citrus and a flower. And it took some time to finally get the confidence to do that uh, because I didn't want to waste my oils and make a roller that I didn't really like the smell of, right? Um, but when I did, oh my gosh, you guys, I opened up the doorway to having some really incredible do-it-yourself perfume that I just love so much. So my kind of like tip or hack is to create, when you're making a perfume, try to pull in all different kinds of scents. So get a floral scent. So maybe um, Ylang Ylang. Get a citrus scent. So maybe grapefruit. And then get like a, a tree scent or a grounding scent like clary sage, patchouli, um, northern lights, black spruce. So I'm going to show you. I brought some of my favorite oils. I've got Valor, patchouli, stress away. So I'm basically going to take the cap off. A lot of the time when you get these rollers, especially on Amazon, they'll come with this little tool where you can just pop it off and sometimes it takes honestly a little bit of work. Um, oh, there we go. But it should pop off pretty good. For a 10 mil roller, the rule is that you put 30 essential oil drops or you could put 20 if you want it on the lighter side. I always do 30 so that it smells even more intense because uh, I like it that way but you could really do anywhere from 20 to 30 and I'm gonna do so this is a really good perfume blend Valor Roman chamomile Clary sage and Ylang Ylang you guys that is a really really good blend okay so I have a lot of sweet scents here so I'm gonna probably do 10 drops of Clary sage I uh, just put in some clary sage, which is a really sweet sage. I love clary sage because I got it and thought it was going to be really like thick and grounding and it was actually kind of sweet and I really liked that. Okay, I'm going to put five of Roman chamomile, so bear with me while I do the math. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have 15 drops in here so far. 
Um, I'm gonna do Ylang Ylang. This is a flower and it smells so dang good, you guys. Okay. Most of the flower oils are pretty thin and they'll drop out pretty quickly. Okay, Valor. This one is so beautiful. You can even see when you look in it, it has this like blue tint. So the blue actually comes from Blue Tansy. Yes, it does. Blue Tansy, which if you guys know anything about Blue Tansy, it is like the most bougie Young Living oil. It's like almost $200 or is it $100? I don't know. All I know is that it's pretty bougie and I have never paid for it, but I have seen it and smelt it in blends and it is incredible. So, okay. One of the reasons why you want to put your oils in before you put in your carrier oil, which is the fractionated coconut oil here, is because that way you can smell it. This smells incredible. You can smell it and then decide, okay, I really like that or I want to add some more of this or it needs a little bit more grounding scent or maybe I need more floral. So this is pretty good. I'm really content with this. Um, so what I'm going to do is squirt in the coconut oil it's really easy when you have a pump and then you guys this is so easy I'm just gonna pop the roller on shake it up and then I'm good to go look how pretty this is it's got that blue tansy blue in it, it smells so good and I like to put it on my neck and then sometimes I'll just put it on my wrist like this and then this. Great. Thank you guys for listening. I hope that you enjoyed that. And let me know if you want me to give you any other tips or hacks for using your oils.